Does your Ender 3 V2 really need this? And does that make it an Ender 2 Plus? Let's try it on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. This video is also sponsored by PCBWay.com. Here's what I'm going to build. I'm going to take an Ender 3 V2 and turn it into an Ender 2 Plus. I'm basically going to just disassemble some parts, so I'm going to take the two screws off the cross beam at the top of the printer. I'll remove two screws from the upright that's behind the LCD. After I do this, I can lift this whole L bracket out of the printer. Now I just need to remove the bracket that has the guide wheels. Two screws hold this in place. Once I get those two screws out, this thing comes right off. I'll put one of the screws back in to hold the adjuster. Now I need to print a handle for the top of this. And I actually did this on an Ender 3 that I had already converted to the same type of setup. And the print came out fine. Look at this handle. It's nice and smooth. This was with my .28 Extra Fast Profile. It mounts to the top of the remaining upright, and I'm using the same two screws that I took out for the cross member. I'll share this file so you can print it out in a link in the description below. And once it's installed, it's easy to pick this thing up. It's definitely a lot lighter. And here's the finished unit. And I gotta admit, I really like the way it looks. And it prints just fine. I used it to print various objects and I really didn't see any degradation in quality and I didn't see any sagging. That Bowden setup is really light. And it does have a lot of the features that an Ender 2 Pro has. It's got the adjusters for the belts, it's got silent drivers for the stepper motors, it's got a drawer for storing the tools, it's got the LCD on the side, although it's here on the Ender 2 Pro, it's over there. And it's got a bigger bed, which is what a lot of people don't like about the Ender 2 Pro. So, is this an Ender 2 Plus? <laughs> Essentially it is. Since Creality came out with the Ender 3 Neo series, the Ender 3 V2 has been discounted. I've seen this thing as low as like $199. So, you take the fact that they don't need this piece, or this piece, or the bracket, or the wheels, or none of the screws, it definitely just got cheaper if you want to turn it into an Ender 2 Plus. It's, it's really what it is. Now, I did do two upgrades to my Ender 3 V2. I put a metal extruder top on this thing, and I did put this Creality side spool holder. I showed this in a previous video. So this is just like the Ender 2 Pro. The metal extruder top, I want to do that probably to my Ender 2 Pros anyway. But this is actually a really nice machine. Now, I know I'll get the question, can I do this to an Ender 3 or an Ender 3 Pro? Yes, you can, because I did it. The only problem is that upright that I took off, that held the power supply. So you have to find a way to mount this power supply. The power supply is built into the base on an Ender 3 V2. This one, it's not quite as easy. So that's the only problem with doing it on an Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro, but it's certainly possible, and I printed with it. It worked just fine. Now, if you've watched the channel for any length of time, you know this is one of my favorite printers, the Ender 2 Pro. I think it's a great place for people to get started just to see if they like 3D printing, but it also prints really good. I've got several of these now. I use them all the time. But there are times when you need a little bigger build area, and that's where this could step in. Now, any Ender 3 can do this, of course. You don't need to take the brackets off like I did. I just like the look of this. I don't know why, but it's maybe because I like this so much, I now like this. But I'm going to keep it like this because I really like the way it looks. And it prints just fine. But will Creality copy this idea and come out with the Ender 2 Plus? <laughs> I don't know. I hope they do because I just think it's a really cool printer. And if they've got the Ender 3 V2 selling for like $199, you take off those extra pieces of metal in the bracket. Maybe this could be the $169 Ender 2 Plus, and this can drop down to where it is now, like under 130 or 125 in some places. So, I don't know, maybe it's a dumb idea, but it was fun. Speaking of fun, you know I like to lay out circuit boards, and PCB Way is where I get my boards. 10 pieces for five bucks plus shipping is fantastic. But they also do 3D printing, and some of the advanced 3D printing. FDM, SLA, SLS, and more. But if you want to go beyond 3D printing, they can also do sheet metal work. 
laser cutting and bending so you can make a custom box if you want. They can do CNC machining if you want. And if you want to take a 3D print further, they can do injection molding and vacuum casting. So if you're getting serious about a design, check out PCBWay.com. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up here. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.